I'm nervous. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of our weekly So Rare MLB All Sports Everything podcast. We are batting practice, of course. We are here tonight. We got a good one for you. We're talking baseball in January. What? Spring training is in like a month. What? Pitchers and catchers. What? what? Wow. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into more of that um, before we do any of that craziness. Boys, how are we feeling this fine Monday evening? Gotta love it. We're doing great. Do we have any complaints? Not really so much. Uh, it snowed up by you guys, though, didn't it? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Tonight into ah, tomorrow. Tonight yep. into tomorrow. Here it's just supposed to rain. Mm-hmm. Um, so Bailey is off of school already. Oh wow! That's, it's one they of canceled, those days. They canceled okay. school yep. already. Yep. So let's yep. let's hear it um, in the comment <laughs> section below on YouTube or uh, on Spotify. Well, first and foremost, make sure to give us a like and a rating, a five star rating on Spotify if you haven't, of course. But let's hear it. Are you guys? Are you snow day people? Do you have you grown up in snowy weather before? Or are we even fans of snow days? Because I know sometimes, like when we were kids, we would get snow days, but then they would add an extra day into the year, making the school year longer. So it in the long run it didn't benefit us. So I feel like I feel like somewhere down the line they started adding in like built in snow days. And then like you didn't have to make it up. So I felt like I don't know about you, but I feel like that started to happen. So snow days were fantastic. Yeah. Back in the day. My my thinking as a kid is exactly the same way I'm thinking about so rare. Short term, baby. Give me that day off. I day at the end of the year, I'm not even counting at that point. Teacher's gonna put me in front of a TV and say, learn to read Billy. Um <laughs> and, and <laughs> it's just Billy? I, I don't know. But but the funny really actually, Josh, I was gonna ask, does um is Haley actually off from school or did they are they doing Zoom school? Uh because oh, I really man. hope that that's that's not a thing. Not um, a thing. The kids get good. a real Thank a goodness. real snow day. Wow. Yeah. We may use was... Zoom to record this podcast, but if you're doing Zoom school, nah, nah, man, don't show up for that. This Wait, is not, so this is not educational advice. So are you <laughs> off then? No. Um is a, the healthcare field doesn't really get snow days, unfortunately. Well um I'm assuming we'll have a lighter day because other people won't want to come out in that, but still gotta be there. I had a morbid thought, but I'm not I'm not gonna share it. Um, mm, so good. I'll, I like I'll, that you let the podcast. I like that you let the listeners know that you had a morbid thought, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. This is a better way to say. It. I found a. Way, I found a way to say it. What if someone injures themselves more trying to go to physical therapy therapy tomorrow than the benefit they would get from at being at that therapy? Like, that's, are you doing that's more harm? Very possible. Open? That's like a real possibility. It is. It is. Imagine so physical therapy fall. is dangerous. Oh. That's takeaway. So, mm-hmm. like, what if the doctor cut off Shohei Otani's arm when he was getting Tommy John surgery? That'd be awesome. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> then then whoa. he couldn't bat or hit, or bat or pitch. Oh, you said that. You don't awesome. know that actually. <laughs> he could still pitch with one arm. That's true. That's he true. Could. That'd be awesome, and and not like. In a in a morbid way. Going to say morbid again? I knew it. Yeah, I mm. couldn't think of a different word. All right, to we say. need a we need less morbidity in the first five minutes of the podcast here. Yeah. Hey, well, guys, I'll give you wait. I'll give you something. All right. Oh, all right. Okay, go ahead. We don't talk football because football, in terms of American football, isn't on so rare, so we don't talk it as much. But our Green Bay Packers are going to the playoffs. Okay. Whoa. How about that? What do we you love to hear it? You do love to hear it. It it's a surprise, but you know. Okay. I really wish the NFL was on so rare. I, I do. Um I know Rainmakers, crazy. I think, has it locked in, but and it's weird. I, I think of the American sports, I'm happy that we have we have the two, but I think I'll go on record and say I would trade in both for so rare NFL. I wouldn't trade Sora MLB, absolutely not. Um, 
But let me ask you this. If Sora added NFL, which they won't because they don't have the no. licensing. If they did, would you ditch normal fantasy? Or would you no. still play ESPN, Yahoo? Would you still play fan duels, DK Rainmaker, DraftKings Rainmakers? Would you still I don't play, play Rainmakers? I know, I, I know. I, I actually, and, and do you know what I'm saying though? Would yeah, you yeah, yeah. would you go full on so rare? Like I don't play any other fantasy MLB anymore. Right. I only play so rare. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. I still would. I like the like I've we have a league obviously. We have two leagues together between Andrew's league with his friends and then our family league. And then I also have another league with my friends. So I feel like there's like the social aspect of it that I would lose out on, which I enjoy. Um, So I think I would still do it. I also won the family league this year. Mm -hmm. So I got to, you know, I'd have to keep defending my title. Yeah. And I think it's similar to like, I've heard people talk on various podcasts, like they still play fantasy EPL or fantasy premier league, even though they play so rare. So I think I would still play. Um, But no, to your point, like I have no desire to play fantasy baseball, no desire to play uh, fantasy basketball. Um, And honestly, if, if over time, if so rare were to get the NFL, I could be compelled to just cut out every fantasy game. That's not so rare. Um, but guys, I got a story, uh, All right. and it's related story to time. the title of our podcast. Ooh. Uh, your boy stepped into the batting cages on Saturday and let what? some rip. What? Yep. What? Let's I, go. You took some yeah, batting practice. I took some batting practice. Wow. It was fun. Um, might've, uh, I, it's the first time I've ever, uh, consumed some, uh, some alcohols before stepping up to the plate um but <laughs> i'd say I, I i'm still made contact with the ball still whacking hey, you there you uh, go and uh it was it was quite fun uh shout out to sluggers in chicago that's a cool thing i i i will i don't know if we've had this debate on the podcast about city versus sub suburb stadiums but the fact that you can just have <laughs> just so much infrastructure around a stadium in the city is so freaking cool. Uh, so I love that, you know, one of the coolest things, if you ever want to go to Wrigley Field, it's not just, I mean, going to the game is fantastic, but around the whole stadium is, and it's the same way in Fenway too. Uh, you know, they just build, just make the stadium cool. And it's a, it's a fun experience. And so, yeah, I was able to go to the cages and I didn't embarrass myself. Uh Let's go. Oh, it was it was fun. It was fun. That's awesome. I think one of the really cool things that has come out of like modern sports is that concept of like building up not only the stadium but everything around it too. Um, I think that's an awesome concept, and I think a lot of the you know the big city um, stadiums, even like Milwaukee with the Bucks, we don't have mm-hmm. it with Miller Park because the area around Miller Park is weird tailgating um right. tailgating. You tailgating. tailgating yeah it's its own thing yeah yeah that's true you but can't like, tailgate the... at like minute maid in houston that's true true that is true. i mean you you can in like the I, I don't know but it's not it's not like giant parking lots like right miller Park but we, we we have the deer district mm-hmm. with the bucks and and like andrew's saying with wrigleyville it's i think that's one of the cool things that has happened over the last because that definitely wasn't a thing i feel like in the last 15 years or 20 years but I think that's that's a cool thing that's happening. Yeah. Does Fen does Fenwayville is that a thing? Do do you know is there a name for their uh for their for their that's area? That's a good question. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Boston I'm gonna look peeps. it up. Get back to us yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I have an exciting story that is so we're related. Oh, let's go. Uh I guess this was a goal of mine, but I don't really know if it was or if it was more of like a sarcastic goal, but like Andrew last week, I won a dollar on street ball. No way. Huge. I know. We'll play I actually, 400th on the dot. I actually didn't know that I was getting a dollar until I looked at my rewards this morning. I got 393rd place. 
Oh my. You almost <laughs> got kicked out. I almost did. Uh 283 points though, which I was pretty nice. proud of. Yeah. Nice. I will I'll take it. I'll take my dollar. Thank you, Streetball. Update. I think it's just called Fenway. That's but, fair. Uh, Fenway. If, if, yeah. Fenway Fields. Fenway. What we'll, we'll come up with the name. Sure. Because we're from yeah, Boston. Fro- frolicking Fenway. Because we're from Boston. We know what we're talking about. Yeah. Boston. Monsterville. The green. Right, Maybe here, there is one chat, and you I'm just don't. Ask, yeah. I'm that's what I'm saying. If, if, if that you haven't asked Chat GPT yet, that's where you've gone wrong. All right. No, no, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna ask it to come up with nicknames for oh uh, even better. For the yeah, yeah. I'll I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know. Did you guys win any rewards this week other than your dollar? I was over. My team's have been it. not struggling recently, but not putting up the best of scores either. Um, Andrew, any rewards? I won over the weekend. Terrence Mann. Hey, tier tier four. We'll take yeah. it. Hey, yeah, add, he's added uh, the collection. Added collection, absolutely. And uh, did not have him before, so any new player, um, I do. I am debating. You know, I do want to get into rare, and mm-hmm. you know, it, it's very nice to win limited rewards, but. Part of me is now thinking about every, you know, putting that towards a rare team. Um, and so I don't know if uh, if I'm going to keep them or not. But, you know, again, I, I put winning uh, winning a card is never, um, never a bad thing. It's just I think that it's only a matter of time before they add loot boxes and then more people can win things. Mm-hmm. But let me ask you, if you go through a stretch where you aren't winning as much as you want to, do you try to like look at your strategy and, and change it up or like, is it one of those things like pro uh, result process over results and just trusting in that? Um, like how do you guys know when to, you know, switch it up versus just kind of sticking with what you've been doing? I mean, I'm throwing out the same team essentially that's putting up that has one rewards or versions of these teams that are very, very similar to what I've put up in the past. So I don't change too much, but the thing that I will change is if I'm on a streak is really focusing on contender first. Mm -hmm. And just like, I want to say a few weeks ago, game weeks ago. So maybe like last week, I didn't even enter a champion lineup Mm -hmm. because it just didn't really make sense the way my, players averages worked out so i focused on contender and it ended up working out so i wouldn't say i'd necessarily change up the players that i'm playing i mean i change those up every week Mm -hmm. but usually the lineups end up pretty similar um like i'm not sitting Giannis. i guess is what i'm saying i'm not sitting trey young they always are finding a way into one of my lineups but i could try and maybe play uh, a lower rated guy or two in contender and then also squeeze Giannis probably not Giannis since he's been putting up only 70s recently (laughs) but like a Trey Young and squeeze him into that contender lineup and then maybe get a a good score out of him that way and prioritize winning just a reward in general you have more Mm -hmm. chance in contender right yeah I feel like um I feel like I I'm not like adding to, actively adding to my gallery when I'm on a cold streak. Um, mm-hmm. I feel confident in the players that I currently have, and it's just finding a finding the right combination of players into my lineup, and b having them actually perform. Um, like Jacob was saying, I've I've had similar lineups that have won rewards, and I know I'm 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 aware that they're not going to win rewards every week, and that's okay. Um, it's kind of trusting the process a little bit and, you know, not, not making drastic changes when you're on a cold streak, unless you're on a cold streak for like four months, then you might want to switch something up with your strategy. Yeah. It's, it's hard because, you know, you don't want to switch it up too much. Like I think if every week you're trying something new, I mean, that, that is a strategy in itself, but if you're doing that for the sake of, you're just throwing darts at a wall, you know, that's, you're probably best 
you know, putting your effort. I think you need to ask yourself, you know, why you're coming up short. And and sometimes it, it is your players. Um, like I, I think if you're throwing a champion lineup and you probably don't have one of the top 10 players, you know, that's maybe a sign that you should focus on contender first. Um, and if like, to me, like within, we've talked about scarcity progression, but I think to Jacob's point, contender, I, I, I guess my thought would be contender is where you start. I, you could make the argument for, for underdog, um, but there are more rewards in contender. And I think it's actually easier to fill a 110 cap than fill a 60 cap. Um, but I think if you're not, if, if you find yourself unable to win rewards at contender, I think that's where you, you might want to switch up your cards a little bit or try to invest in someone that, that is going to be a, a cheat code for that week uh, to maybe get yourself over out of the slump. Um, but I think, the bigger one is if you're entering champion without a, you know, one of the stars and thinking you're going to win because that's you just have a lot of points in that lineup. Unfortunately, whales out there are, are going to also have points too, and they probably will have, you know, more. Uh, they'll have Luca, they'll have Giannis, and it's hard to go up against that if you don't have a stud. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well. Um, let's jump into our first topic, our weekly update topic. I feel like this is a weekly thing, um, that Good. we discuss. I like weekly updates. We yeah. like weekly updates. Yeah. Uh, this one is, is different though. And, and very interesting. Um, I don't know how, I know how you felt, Andrew, you kind of mentioned it before we started recording, but. Uh, I kind of felt the same way. I w- I was skimming through it, and I'm I'm kind of, I guess, confused. I don't know what the right word is. It's it's a little interesting. So Jacob, pull it up. Pull it Jacob, up. what do you have for us? I'll, I'll have up. you explain it. I'm working on it. You'll have me so, explain it. Oh, wait, God. I'm gonna put my big my big brain. So it's it's universal ID that ties your phone number, your social security number, your sower ID into one unified sports experience chip. It's a yep. it's a chip a that they put chip. in your brain. Yeah. Wait, would you do this if it allowed you to get into sports games more easily? If like like what if they had TSA pre check, um, but for do for, I for get sports into games? do I get into the rivals beta? You know, I we we gotta <laughs> get into that beta. We, we gotta find our way. All right, then I would say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fair. funny. I might do that too. Me, All right. Um... Manager ID is the main update this week. And uh, a lot of our reactions are kind of underwhelming, to be completely honest. But we we got an update and we like updates like we were saying. So what exactly is the manager ID? Well, let's go over this article, I guess, because it's the only fair way to do it. The uh, The new Medium article that they just posted. But essentially, they're they're changing up the look of my club Mm. it has nothing to do with your social security number unfortunately or fortunately wait why did did nicholas dm me for that then (laughs) uh did he have the blue check mark oh no 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 that was uh nicholas oh Uh, oh, shoot yeah i might have given your eth address Yup. Oh shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. All right, guys. I, I might have to. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, but but um, actually, in all in all seriousness, though, that actually has been a thing. Like people in the community have been getting reached out to on Discord from people at Sower claiming that they work there. So do stay vi- vigilant on that. I I joke about it, but it is something that does actually get to know. I actually yeah. So. All right, manager ID. It's a brand new way to show off your achievements and status on SoRare. The visually striking and shareable ID is more than just a profile. It's a testament to your skills. So, essentially, it's another UI update. (laughs) Whoa! Did you hear that, Nash? I I didn't hear that. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Is is that a new Can I... Can I... Can I see who is the top performer from the past game week? No. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I'll give them credit. First of all, whoever writes these Medium articles probably deserves a raise. Um, shout out to John. It's definitely uh, John. You think so? I bet. They're, I bet. Uh, I, no. I'll bet. I bet I'll no. that it's John. They're, I okay. They're all limited. They're, they're their dictation, their vocabulary, items. it's it's pretty it's pretty or it's someone on the notch. product team. It's probably on the product team. But uh, this this is pretty oh, cool. Yeah, um, of course it is. It kind of is like the like more social aspect of so rare. Um, I don't know if people even know this. I'm sure they do, but you can follow each other and and keep track of each other. So that's kind of the more like social media side of Sower. So I've, this definitely falls into that category. Um, it just is a better way of displaying your badge and your achievements and your XP level, which we all love. Um, but beyond that, I don't think there's much more to it. You know, it's just kind of uh, like you said, it's a it's a UI update. And it's is it only for football? Like I'm clicking over to my my NBA and MLB, and I I only see this on the football page. So far, so far, it's so okay. far, so far, so rare. Wait a second, <laughs> that's John Nelson's podcast. That's a different podcast. No, it's it's so Great far. Podcast. It's only on football. But I, we're gonna, just like we do with everything we're going to project that it's going to translate itself over to the other so rare MLB games as well, or this other so rare games, including MLB and NBA as well. But I do, it's, it's cool looking. Uh, how do we feel about levels and stuff? I cut, it's like, it's very FIFA esque. It's very EA sports FC esque in where you go up a level and then lock something new. And then I don't know, but, it's it's another way where I mean, first and foremost, you gotta get just a little bit of a little bit of hype, a little bit of reward just from gaining a level in anything, even if it doesn't mean anything. But then what if it was like you reach level fifty, you get five thousand coins for the club shop, and then all of a sudden there's jerseys on sale for ten K and then like you could almost afford one. Or wow. if you reach level fifty, you just get a jersey. I don't know, stuff like that. So I'm interested to see if they implement so like prizes like that sort of way too. So it's it's cool, but it, yeah, like like you said, it's only for football for now. And right now, it's 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 just a UI update on steroids. Yeah, I will yeah. say this this level forty. It looks plus really cool. Colorway is very cool. Yeah. Oh, it like changes that. based on what it looks level? really good. Yeah. yeah. So you upgrade That's why I say color on steroids. per level. Yeah. So like cool. I'm not you can't be mad at this update. It, it no. brought only good. It brought only like fun new things, but it's nothing revolving, revolving, relating to the game in and of itself. Probably the most important sentence or two oh. sentences. There we go. We're actively working it to deliver it for iOS as well as Sober NBA and MLB. How about that? It was far down in the article. It's hard to read all the way down the article. It's 2023, 2024. Everybody Whoa. has ADHD. How do you read? You can't read that many paragraphs without just saying, ah, uh, whatever. We'll assume about Sober NBA and MLB, but there we go. It's coming. Boom. And that's why I we're love talking there's always it. like, Two, two claps. claps. Can you clap? Uh, <laughs> oh, you have to be signed in. That's great. You can't clap. Ooh. Do you think? Do you think it's people I'm on the server team that have clapped, or is it just like on YouTube, like it's poor taste to like your own video? Um. Oh, I like yeah. all of our videos on YouTube. Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, well, I see. The thing is, I I actually don't know. But is is it poor taste? I don't know. I have a weird thing on at least Instagram that it has to get to a certain amount of likes and then I feel comfortable liking it myself. Like wait, you like I'm... your own Instagram posts? Yeah. That's self -love. a little narcissistic, don't you think? No, it's self-love. I don't but even I'm, know. I'm if not gonna I like be I'm not Instagram gonna be the post. first I'm not gonna be the first like. That would be weird. But like after you get, you know, a a decent amount, then you like it. I don't know. 
Mm. You just don't love so, yourself. Are you, wait, but let me ask you this: Are you liking the likes, or are you liking your original post at that point? I do. You, is it liking I always, attention? I always liked the post. <laughs> I just needed to. You just need to wait it out. You know. And then Speaking like, of attention, oh, yeah, I remember this post. <laughs> All right, how many attention. how many sower followers do you guys have? How many Not wonderful? Enough. individuals? I think you two. Okay. I also think you two. No, I have let's four. go. You have four. See, okay, look, look who who's following you. Let's go. You don't need um, to shout them out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I only have. Well, two of them are you. I have two. three. And to be, yeah, there we go. And I mean, and these are only football. I think, again, hope this comes to baseball and what it does. We will definitely, if you want to follow us, I'll follow you back. Just like the old days on YouTube. Um, Andrew is very oh, yeah. popular. Like I'm for so like. I, I am. I uh, Recommended. Oh, wait, there's Felix. recommended? Oh, that's kind of cool recommend i follow pavel wow is powell is recommended cool. is powell. ynwa follow fiago all right enough wait, of this this is a mate wait these are all see do we know uh this cool what's cool about silver football is there are actively like real players playing the game do we know if like because they've they've done events with with different um, ambassadors for across baseball and and and, ba- and basketball? I can't talk anymore. But do we know? Is anyone actually like if if we look at the leaderboard? Is is Carl Anthony Towns like at at the top or uh, have they done it? I I can't believe they haven't done anything with that. I don't question. know. I want to see Carl Anthony Towns baseball scores. That would be great. That would be great. And Julio Rodriguez's basketball scores. Yeah, I I don't know. You would hope, right? That would be kind of fun if they were playing along. But who knows? Who knows? Well, what do you say we jump into what I mentioned earlier? Um. Oh, wait. Before that, do we want to do our, our new yes. segment? Yes. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, a new segment is upon us. It is none other than your so rare NBA player of the week. Ooh. Let's go. All right, Jacob, hit us with it. Who right, is the I'll player of the week? I will hit you. So don't share the screen. Trust me, it's easier for editing. And I can edit our boy in there. So... First and foremost, before we get into it, we need we need a name for this. I wrote Game yeah. Week MVP in our notes. Game Week MVP, like, it makes sense, but it, it's not unique. It's not batting practice, you know what I mean? So we need to think of a better name for this. So we don't need to now, but that's your guys' homework for the next week, for next, next court reporting, report? is we need, we need <laughs> the court report. Sorry, the court it. report MVP. Um, but anyways, the so rare player of the week, we're basing this off of multiple factors, but mainly how they scored against their average and why they scored that way. And then obviously, um, we're, we're picking between who, well, we're just picking one player. Sorry. We're not picking between us three, but we're, we each kind of go over beforehand and see how players performed, we can do so on so rare data or on so rare and see how they performed against their averages. So, without further ado, your game week MVP for game week. Uh oh. Game week 21. one in terms of game week MVP weeks. I like it. But in it terms 21. of. It was 21. 21. Blackjack. 21. All right, game week MVP. Without further ado, for game week twenty one is Orlando Magic forward Caleb Houston. Let's go! Ooh. All right, shout out to the main man. So why is he our MVP this week? Well, let me tell you. So first and foremost, he put up forty three so rare points when he only has an average of thirteen. 
which is crazy. That is a plus 30. Did I play him? Of course I played him. Did I win a reward? Of course I did not win a reward, but it's okay <laughs> because we had him in our lineup and we can flex about him this week. So why did he put up 43 with an average of 13? Well, Markel Fultz, his teammate, played a lot less in their second game. Uh, again, I'm forgetting against who, but Markel Fultz played a lot less, which means uh, Houston got more playing time. And since Houston got more playing time, therefore put up more points. And guess what? He also got more playing time because the game went into overtime. I mean, you can't really get much better of a scenario than that. Ended up putting up 25 total points, threw in a few rebounds, and a decent amount of assists as well. 43 points for our man, Caleb Houston. Shout out the Orlando Magic. They won the game, too. So there yep. we go. Our number one MVP. I should, like, print out a little. So Do, want, do you want to add – can I add a fun fact onto there? Ooh, let's that was their fun second. Fact. That was their second overtime game this week, taking their season total – to two overtime games. So both of their overtime games this season came in the last week, which again might explain why Houston was getting some minutes because that team is going to be tired. That's a lot of, that's a lot of basketball. That's Um, and to round it out. Can you guess which team has the most overtime games this season? Oh, that's a good question. Cause I looked it up. Um, It is the Atlanta Hawks who they played. That is, they are at two as well. Dang. For some reason, the Suns are popping up in my head. They are at two as well. Lots of teams at two, but yeah. three teams at four. Ooh. Three. Yep. Who do we got? Really? It's your Boston Celtics, Ooh. your Portland oh, Trailblazers, and your Chicago Bulls. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, kind of kind of crazy. Because Celtics, you'd expect, uh, or actually, I don't know. Is it a sign of a good team or a bad team that you that you go to OT? It depends who you went to OT against. And the Celtics almost <laughs> lost to the Pistons. Yeah, that is true. That, yeah. That is very true. Yeah, but I like that. Caleb Houston. And he's Canadian. Uh, and this is his second season. So fun. Fun about that. Shout so, okay. Houston, write it man. down. Keep that in mind for the portal later. If Canada Ooh. pops up. There we go. He's a small forward, even though he's not a small man himself. He's at six six foot eight. I don't know about he's not small to me. Yeah, he's a large forward, but we'll take it. So there we go. Game week twenty one MVP. We'll think of a better name for the segment, but Caleb Houston forty three solar points, average wow. of thirteen. That's crazy. That's like an equivalent of. Let's let's give an MLB equivalent. You think that's the MLB equivalent of like a catcher putting up like a 50, 50 or 60, maybe? Yeah. Just Something someone that you're not of, yeah. expecting it to, and they just they just hit a grand slam. Yeah. Yeah. So which happens, anyway. which happens. Yeah. yeah. That's why so are, so are MLB is so fun because you can play guys like Freddie Freeman, but you can also start guys like Martin Maldonado. And they both might just put up the same score. Dude, so our MLB is really fun. We it should is. talk about it. We oh, should yeah. talk about it. How about how it much might, we miss it? It might be the most fun. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good question. Which so game do you have the most fun playing? Mm. Which so game do you win the most rewards in? All right, let me think. Um <laughs> are they correlated? You know, I feel like you just it's too easy to say baseball. Because that's just like our main sport. That's our main sport that we talk about here on the podcast. That's our main sport that we played growing up. It's our main sport that we watched growing up. I mean, other than football, which we already we already beat that to a death here on the podcast. So I would say baseball, but I do I miss the OG rare threshold. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like 2021. <laughs> rare threshold was yeah. was fun so rare for yes sure. watched a lot too many chicago fire games that season yeah oh my <laughs> Way god too many I, anyway i think for me I, I think soccer is still the most exciting mm-hmm. because 
it, it's just it's not the thing that's crazy about it. it one the game week is so short i mean they do have the multi or the midweek but it's it's a single game so you, you enter i mean for me i'm only really able to field one or two lineups and i know like it just it's so i think for me basketball and baseball would, would be the same way if i knew like it was like the they were only going to play one game that whole game week and it, it all came down to that um i also think so football is the most difficult mm-hmm. i don't know so 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 when I when I succeed there, I feel I feel the most happy. Um, I don't know, most, but, but yeah. maybe that's yeah, that makes sense. That's my lack of knowledge there too. Like I know the most about baseball and basketball. Um, so again, maybe if I succeed there, but it's all personal preference. But let us know what what is your favorite uh, solo sport, and uh, does is that anything to do with how much you win or how when you how difficult it is? So. I don't know, Josh, did you did you give, give an answer? Yeah, I I said I definitely agree with what you're saying about football. Um it it's definitely the hardest to me and it is the most satisfying when you do win. Yes, that's the word. Yes. Um and it hit, there's nothing like hitting a threshold. Oh um, man, that's a great feeling. Oh. But the 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 lows are very low mm. on football and I don't feel like the lows get that low in the other two sports um we talked about that i think it was last week with with my guy who dropped 50 points um but you know there's nothing worse than than logging on checking your score first thing and there's a freaking hurricane going on in ireland right or scotland i mean so none of your scottish prem players are playing uh so i think the lows are it the highs are very high and the lows are very low on football compared to the other two sports but i think baseball is my favorite and i miss it and I miss it, and I want more. I want more. Mm. Plus, there's just so much rotation, to... too. There's so there much is. rotation. Mm. There's there so is. much rotation. And that is frustrating, but when you get it right, my God, that's a satisfying feeling, to, to, to use Josh's word. It is. But that leads us to so rare MLB in January, or lack thereof, so rare MLB. MLB. <laughs> do you think they're doing enough? Is there enough happening this off season? Should they be doing more? Should we be expecting more? What's going on? What do you think? Yeah, it's been dark from the so El Sower MLB front, other than auctioning off some of those special cards a few times, and that's it. And last year we did have those, what was it, three collection games that we got or maybe it was only two or something like that. And I want to say by now we'd had at least one of those. So those are probably, that was a one-year experiment out the window. But in terms of them not doing anything, I mean, we haven't heard anything in regarding the collection game, regarding the club shop. Sure, we haven't gotten the club shop yet for, ML, or for NBA, which I assume that one's prioritized since the season's going on. But I don't know about... MOB and what's happening. But let me let me propose you this. What is ESPN doing right now for fantasy baseball? Are they doing anything? It's true. I don't know. What's Yahoo doing? Are they doing anything? Or are they just waiting for people to come back to their platform? Which That's they will good because point. they're That's large platforms. So that I present to you a question in how does Silver MLB differ in their off season versus other MLB's fantasy sports platforms? And regarding that, is Silver MLB doing enough? Um, I think I think I guess. Or do personally... they should they be doing more? Is maybe a little say... bit better way to phrase that. Should they be doing more than other fantasy websites. I I'm going to change it. I'm going to, I'm going to answer this and say that they definitely could do more and that would help separate themselves from other fantasy sports, especially baseball. Um, Because like you said, Yahoo baseball isn't doing anything. ESPN fantasy baseball is not doing anything. So if so, we're truly wanted to separate themselves and, and have a leg up on those other platforms, they could easily do stuff in the off season that would, bring people to their platform because nobody else is doing it. Um, 
that being said, I think that also would, we should probably be lowering our expectations because it's not really the norm to be having off season stuff. They have auctions going on still. You can still buy cards if you want. You can scout cards if you want. Um, and you can play NBA and football all off season as well. So I think the expectations need to be tampered a little bit, but I would like to see something. What do you mean? What that tampered? is like, I think our expectations, like we shouldn't really have expectations that there is off season content because nobody else is really doing off season content. Gotcha. Yeah. So I like your point. I like your point they? though about like that because no one else is doing it. Like that's, that's the that's exact great... reason to do it. Right. Exactly. It's a good excuse mm-hmm. not to do it because they're like, well, nobody else is doing it, but it's a great reason to do it on, um, on the other hand. What I'm also looking at, um, okay, this is really interesting. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to which cards are being auctioned off right now. So if I uh, just looked at the market right now and you can get a, you can bid on a Johan Duran. Uh, closer for the Minnesota Twins, who has had, I think, four or five auctions since the season ended. I just looked up Yelich and Garrett Cole. Uh, With the exception, Garrett Cole had his his special edition card for winning uh, Cy Young. Uh, But minus that, there have been no Garrett Cole auctions uh, in this offseason. And there have been also no Christian Yelich uh, limited auctions this offseason since he didn't win any rewards. So it's it is interesting to me like which cards they are continuing continuing to mint because you know if I was trying to build a Brewers collection I wouldn't be able to right now so I don't know if there's any they're they're auctioning cards but it it's unclear to me which ones I wonder if it has to do with who was rewarded and how many cards were given out say. Mm-hmm less cards of Duran were given out than Yelich this year. So they're minting a few more Durans to even that out a little bit, just in a general sense. I am willing to bet that they slash the numbers for minting next year, just like they did for NBA. Mm, But you need seven per lineup, which is strange. Like if MLB so rare were to really, I don't think it would take off enough in the next year where they would need to, change the numbers of minting too much so if they did slash the numbers that could be another reason for them calming down auctions too is that there won't be as many cards to or they're trying to save it for like all the cards that they're going to auction off with the limited numbers next year they're already trying to limit them i think i think what you said is spot on um just a quick look here uh duran that card that is being auctioned off is uh, number 120. Uh, you can currently buy a Yelich Limited that is serial numbered 189. So I'm guessing there's just way more Yelichs that were rewarded over the season and auctioned off. And now they're kind of their leftovers. <laughs> their mm-hmm. uh, overstock for the off season is what's being auctioned off now. But it's, again, just kind of a guess. But it makes sense. I mean, we we do know that from a reward standpoint, if you fall, if you're a tier one player, there are less rewards of you given out. There's also less auctions. Like if you look up, there are going to be way more Caleb Houston auctions than there are Wemby auctions. And there are way more Houston's rewarded than there are Wemby's rewarded. Um, so it, it like it does make sense that they are having, um, you know, different cards being minted. But what I think could be a really good addition is just some insight into which cards are coming. So if I really wanted a Garrett Cole in the offseason to build a collection round, um, I would love to know, should I go look look for that? There are tools that I can use from Sower Data that, that can help me with that. But I would love it if Sower gave me the option. And if I express my interest, that they it's like when you go to a clothing store and it, something is out of stock. And you ask to be notified when it's in stock. Sora should have the same experience uh, for for all of their sports if they don't, uh, and especially in the off season. I, but it's also you, 
if you like a player or follow a player, you can select to have uh, emails sent when one okay. is listed up for auction. I'm almost positive. At least it used to be a thing like years ago when I was playing yeah. sort of football. Let's see. Okay, so on MLB, you do have a card subscription received when a card you're subscribed to is put on auction. Okay, I take that back. Go. Maybe I go. just need to check my spam. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> it's going yeah. my spam. Um, but it still would be nice to, to have uh, a little bit more uh, heads up or a plan of, of like, these are the cards that are going to be coming soon. Um, but as much as I would want to bid on a card right now, I would really like to think that come for next year, they're going to all be 3D cards. And and better yet, what we saw at NBA, they're probably going to require you to, to have this season's cards. So it seems like kind of a waste to get like this 2023 cards when the utility on them isn't even going to be that great. Um, the only thing that would make sense is if you're trying to build a collection. Uh, but from all intents, from what they've shown us from Sora and VA, it just makes sense to wait. Right. And I think that's where like the expectation should be increased uh, in terms of like clarity and, and a plan. Um, we're 36 days away from pitchers and catchers wow. reporting, which is the official start of spring training. And the MLB season starts in 80 days. Um, so saying those numbers out loud, it's it's coming up and it's it's not that far away. Uh, we're under three months until the start of the season. So I think getting some clarity with that and and maybe having like if I go to the lobby, the homepage for MLB, um, it shows my championship chase scores and then that's about it. So maybe updating that and, and preparation for the 2024 season, um, you know, they have some time, but it's coming up. So I think getting something on there that that can start the hype for the season that's two and a half months away. I like yeah. it. Well, we'll see. Hopefully we get something soon, but you never know. Um, do we want to jump into the portal or do we want to talk? I think, I think what we got to do is do the portal and do the MLB guess who, since we did both. Ooh. I Ooh, think I love it. Yeah. I think to finish off this podcast, since we talked about both sports, we got to do both. That just makes oh, yeah. perfect sense. Mm -hmm. I agree. We don't want to embarrass ourselves with soccer, so <laughs> although we might nail it, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll have to weave that into some future episode. We could try it. We'll see. Let's, what is let's that? See. What is that one called? Who? Where are you? Who are you? Yeah, it's who are. Let's let's see how we do on the potals and. Uh, that's true. And the MLB and see if we 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 need a challenge. Um I do have All to right, say which one first. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Josh is already on baseball. Oh, he's got to log in. Oh, oh man. Oh, not this again. Let's go Podal. We haven't done it in uh, so long, it kicked me out. We, we got to do Caleb, yeah? Caleb Houston. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Houston, we don't No, it's, it's with an A. H A U. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, nothing. All right, he's Thanks. in the West, and he's short. Shorter, shorter, shorter. Yeah. six short, eight. Short king. Yellow means he's six seven, six six. Yeah, it's close. Oh, that's he's true. Close that is two. not short. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about? Yeah. Oh, it's you know he's in the West. Close. How, How about, about he's not a guard. LeBron James? Yeah. LeBron James is taller than six eight, is he not? I don't think so. Isn't he like six five? We're gonna find no, out. No, no, he's like yeah. Oh. Six, six, six five. five. What kind of are you insane? That's four <laughs> inches. Relax. Yeah, in basketball, that's huge. Okay, so it's that's not a Pacific huge difference. West could be someone on the Wolves. Um Ooh. it's Nas not gonna Reed? be Towns. It's not Towns. Uh Nas Reed. Send it. That's good. Yeah, yeah it's a good guess. Yeah. I E or E I. There you go. You got it. Dang, he's also okay. So it's not a little, so it's not okay. So there's Pacific Northwest. Um, is there Southwest? So yeah, or, so, yeah. So so it'd be like Suns, the Spurs, Suns, the Spurs. How about like s close to twenty four? How about Jeremy Sohan? Yeah, I like it. 
Ooh. Okay, so Southwest, not the Spurs. Yeah, so Hen's also a baby, so need Thunder. someone that's oh yeah. Old. Duh. So it's not Chet, it's not Chetty. Uh Chet's still too young. How old is Shay? Ooh. Ooh, what or Dort? Uh, oh yeah. Try Dort. Not OKC. Man. Okay. What team is this man on? Wait, who are you saying though, Jacob? Someone on the Suns? Oh yeah, they're in the Northwest, not the Southwest. Oh, yeah, this... that's kind of dumb. Eric Gordon. Um, N- no, he's older. He's older. He's older. Um, yeah, he's, what, twenty five or twenty six? Josh Okogi. Ooh, I like it. I think he's like twenty seven. Oh, twenty five. <laughs> he's twenty five. Oh yeah, they're right. Pacific. Yeah. What team is what? Who Southwest? are we missing from the Southwest? Southwest are the Mavs? Oh, the Mavs. The Southwest? Um. Is it it's no Kyrie's way too old. Is it Luca? Uh, Luca's older than twenty five. Oh, Luca's older than no, no, that's right. No, 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 no. Lucas is Luca is twenty five. I think Luca is twenty five. No, he's not. No shot. He no. He's gotta just be guess like it, just guess it. Wait, oh wait, no, no, no. no. We, we Luca is twenty five. Luca Doncic? Luca Doncic is twenty five. Yeah. I would bet a lot of money that he's not twenty five. We gotta send him. Oh, he's twenty four. I told you. I told you he's not twenty five. You thought he, he was said older. He was twenty nine. You, you said, said he was twenty nine. Get out I of said here. what? All I said what he was. He's not twenty five. Josh, I have his yeah. rookie card. How old do you think he is? I mean, he debuted in what two thousand eighteen or nineteen, right? Yeah. I guess it's I forgot he debuted ago. when he was super Josh, young. Josh, these guys debut when they're nineteen, eighteen. So. Okay, he's on Dallas. Have, let's let's I get have this. No let's idea. It's I not don't, Kyrie. I feel we only I have one know, guess. We only have one guess left. I don't know Dallas's team that oh, well. Wood. Uh, his name last name is Wood. Christian um, Wood. Yeah, Christian Wood. Not on Dallas. Is he not? Mm-mm. Is he on the Lakers? Yes. Mm. I believe. Wait. Was on the. He was. Christian Wood. Is on. The yeah, he's on the Lakers. You like, Mavericks. All the Mavericks. Number. Oh wait, what? What's the number? It's very low. Um, low. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like three it's or like four. Three or four. I don't know, man. I think we have to take an L on the poodle. Yeah. Let's let's do the pickle and then we'll come back and do our final guess. Dante Exum? No, maybe. Do Exum. It. Send it. Let's send it. Or um, uh, um, lively. Derek Derek Lively is Derek Lively. Who's a better guess? Either one Which of them. One? Send it. Wow. It was Grant, Grant Williams. Williams. All right. Yeah. Of course, Grant it was Williams. Grant Williams. We didn't have a chance. All right. Go we back. Did. Go go. give me some MLB. This isn't good. Grant Williams. Get Dang out it. of here. Could have got that. Could have got that. Get out of here. What? Has he done anything noteworthy? He played for the Celtics. He That's played for the Celtics. Enough. It's true. He wasn't good enough, though. Uh, the off-season pickle is just struggling. There we go. Oh, Did we mention any baseball see. players today? We talked about Cole. Oh, Johan hey, Duran. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Johan Oscar. Duran. Yeah. And then we can send uh, Tay Oscar if it's not. All right. It might be a brewer. I think we should yeah. guess it. Ooh. We talked um, Yelich too. We said Yelich. Yeah, lefty. Okay. Okay. Lefty, lefty on the lefty. Cubs. Maybe. Lefty, lefty and on the Cubs. Is that, Bell- is that belly? <laughs> is it belly? It could be. What t- is he still technically listed under the Cubs? Oh. Or is he not even in it because he's a free agent? 
Yeah, okay, good. They updated it. Or is he one? So he's okay. not in it. So free agents are not included, which makes okay. no. Oh, it could um, also be a trade. Is it Ian Hap? Ian yeah, Hap's a right. switch hitter. Ian Hap's a switch hitter. Oh, that's true. True, mm. true, 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 true. I think um, Cardinals. Oh, yeah. Card could be a Cardinal. Lefty, lefty on the Cardinals. Gosh. Oh, we should get to guess a pitcher. Or a if pirate. it's somebody who was recently yeah. traded, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, it could, could be a pirate. Or we can let's let's try a pitcher. Uh, pitcher on the Cubs, maybe. Um, lefty, lefty on the Cubs. Drew Smiley. Yeah, is he a send lefty? It, send it. All right, all right. Oh, I thought that was it. Okay, he's oh, a pitcher. Close to... Gosh. Okay. Okay. Starting pitcher. Cardinals. He's, he's 30, 30 or 31. 33? Could, could be 33. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's 30. Uh, okay. So not for the Brewers, not for the Cubs. So it's going to be for Cardinals, Pirates, or Reds. Reds. Mm. And it's a starting pitcher. Lodolo's too low. Lodolo? Young. He's too low, yeah. Um. Ashcraft is a righty. I'm assuming Lodolo is too young. Yeah, 25. Oh, man. Cubs. Cubs starting pitcher. Well, it's not a Cub. It's not a Cub. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it can't be a Cub. Um, what team did uh, Quintana end up on? The Mets? What? I didn't know that. Yikes, man. Oh, how about form... I haven't thought about baseball. And... Former Mariner Marco Gonzalez was traded to wow. the Pirates. Oh my There's god. No I shot. swear to god. Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> that was a trade. That was a trade. I was never, thinking. Never in a million years. Are you serious? Never was it today? Was the trade news. today? Too good. Well, that made up for this. Too good. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, pull up, pull up the soccer one just to see who yeah. it is. What's it called just again? To see. Who are you? Who, who are you? Yeah. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked these out, we're doing the MLB guess who, the NBA Kind-Foto. guess who, and the soccer guess who, the full on so rare. Guess who trio to do Kimmich? Oh, we got a German in the Bundesliga. Not he's a midfielder, he's a midfielder. just a midfielder. All right, that's Let's definitely guess. Jude Bellingham. Do it, yeah, that's do a it. good guess. Yeah, okay, all right. So he's not oh, in La Liga, could be a Prem guy. Guess, um, guess like Declan uh, Rice. Declan Rice, not English. Oh yeah, not English. Duh. not German. I'm trying to think like League Un. Like guess like League. Uh, yeah, Brad yeah. Vio. Guess a Prem guy. Guess like Odegaard. Yeah, it's a good shot. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's not good. We got a. We got a. Or it could right. be Syria. Juventus. Too. Rabio? <gasps> Wait, or or uh um if it's not Rabio, it could be our boy McKinney. Oh it's McKinney. I think it's gonna be McKinney. What? No! no! It's Wait. it's way uh <laughs> Yeah. Wait, <laughs> Way is a midfielder? I don't know. It's gotta yeah, be it oh, yeah, it's definitely Wea. With a banger of a goal. 